Hello world, Shelly here, and today I am attempting a woodworking project which I hope will become a display stand for t-shirts for vendor events. And uh, I've assembled a lot of IKEA furniture in my life, but I have never made something from scratch, especially not from plans that I worked up myself inspired by a picture I saw online. I looked high and low trying to find a place where I could buy either that finished stand or plans to make one. Could not find anything similar anywhere. So, uh, well, you know, I'm either going to have a t-shirt display, display stand or I'm going to have a couple hundred dollars of wood and a relatively cheap learning experience. Let's find out. Here is what I'm starting out with. Please ignore the messy garage. I'm in the process of emptying out my storage unit and I don't have enough space to put it all, but I want to stop paying for it. So uh, I got stuff piled everywhere. But that was the inspiration photo I found on Pinterest. Here's the <laughs> highly technical plans that I have developed, and in making space in my Jeep for the wood, I found my, uh, my ponies, my pony water bottle. Very excited about that. We are starting with some two by twos. These are eight feet long. I need to cut them to be six. And I was able to get Lowe's to cut these two by four project boards. These came two by four by two and they cut them in half for me, but they couldn't cut the long ones because their saw was not working correctly. And then I have, this is where I did a little change of plans on the fly. We'll see if, uh, if it works out. These were originally going to be, they were going to be one by 12 by uh, they were going to be eight feet long and then I was going to cut them down to seven feet. But when I was looking at them in the store, I thought seven feet just looked really too long to be manageable to take them down and transport them to events. And as you see, even as is, they barely fit in my Jeep. So uh, I went with one by ten by six because these are only going to be having like t-shirts sitting along them. So I don't think I needed a full foot wide. Ten should be fine. Got some handles that are going to serve as the hangers, like where I hang the t-shirts from. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, took a little lunch break, and uh, upright number one of four is done. Learned a lesson here, let me show you. So the lesson I learned is don't trust that when you ask Lowe's to cut your pieces to 12 inches, that they will all be 12 inches. That one is that one is not, as you see. <laughs> uh, 
It'll be fine. We'll just put that one in the back, right? done. In theory, the rest should be easy. Not sure how I bought twice as many 2x4s as I need, but the last part is putting the little stop blocks onto the shelves that'll rest on the different levels and putting the little hangers on the top shelf that the t-shirts will hang from and putting the hinges onto the four legs so they can fold up and stay together in an L shape. Uh, yeah, I say that's the easy part, but uh, watch it take twice as long. But four legs in four hours, I'm pretty proud of myself. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Gonna keep going, it's dark out now. Sun is just setting. Of course I had to run back to Lowe's because the door hinges I got were too small. All right, got some hinges. Gonna keep on going.
the finished piece. I am so brain dead, I cannot even speak. And my cat was sleeping on my smad shirt, so it's covered in cat hair. So, uh, it's janky in places, and any carpenter or woodworker would absolutely laugh, die laughing at its jankiness, uh, but I'm pretty, pretty proud. <laughs> now, there is one thing missing. There's supposed to be another shelf down here, but Lowe's had not cut those two by fours all to 12 inches, and I didn't realize it initially. So uh, my shelf, my bottom shelf does not fit down there. So I either need to find my jigsaw and cut a notch out at the spots of the uprights, or a friend of mine has a table saw and might be able to cut that shelf my my last plank down to an inch or so less wide so it will fit under there but I'm pretty much happy as can be because <laughs> even if it stays like this it's totally going to be usable I can put plastic bins underneath where that shelf was for storage and whatnot but uh yeah it took me just under eight hours, and I did have to, that includes about an hour of running to Lowe's and back because the hinges I bought were not big enough. I had to go get bigger ones. But other than that, uh, it cost me about 300 bucks, and that included buying a um, hand saw and a miter box. That was 20 bucks, and then a $60 cordless screwdriver, so $80 of that was tools, so about $220 in lumber and hardware, and um, about seven hours of labor. There you have it. I probably won't be able to walk tomorrow. Every bone and muscle and tendon in my body is screaming, so uh, I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> Good night, as always. Thanks for taking some time to geek out over, I don't know what, it, carpentry? I don't want to, like, that is, that's giving me way too much credit. But uh, uh, whatever you would call this, building a thing with me. <laughs> I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.